A very good afternoon to all of you here. <laughs> My babies are all eating. It's their feeding time at this hour. Those who are new to this channel, my name is Pia. I used to be a flight attendant for over 10 years in the Middle East and now we're back here in the Philippines for good. So we do have a very small um, layer chicken business here. So if you guys are not sure what is layer chicken, uh, these chickens here are laying eggs. So their main product, our main product is actually eggs not the meat because meat is for broiler we do have about 1400 heads in total it was supposed to be 1500 but then we have some mortality already it has been a year in this business and so far we are growing well guys i want you to see what our boys are doing so they're currently um, mixing the cement for our grower slash brooder house so soon enough we will be expanding i'm gonna go ahead and start now it's going to be very informal but anyway uh, my vlog has been informal since the beginning so i'm going to start with um expenses so just like your personal income you do have expenses as well right so the lesser the, the expenses that you have the bigger income that you're gonna get same with the business the lesser expenses you have the more income you're gonna get because no matter how high your sales is if you have a very high um, overhead you're not gonna be able to maximize your income okay so you have to be very very mindful with your expenses so if you can cut costs at some point the better but i'd like you to understand that um, having a poultry farm does have a daily expense and then we have weekly expense we also have monthly expense and another one is there, there are also times that you need to have quarterly and the yearly as well but for the moment i'm just gonna go and tell you the monthly expenses so the wind is not cooperating with me but anyway probably i'll just be walking back and forth from this area so anyway um like i said you will only uh, maximize your income capacity when you know or when you um lessen your expenses in a poultry business there are basic things that you need to consider and you cannot cut cost at any point of time because the moment you cut cost in these things your production will suffer 70 percent of your expenses goes to the feeds that's the number one last thing that you'd like to cut costs would be the the feeds because you need to feed your um, layer chicken so that they can lay eggs for you if you don't feed them properly then your production will be very low so you have to remember that you give them their um, daily consumption so that they can give you a good production as well every chicken needs a daily consumption of 110 grams and you multiply that by a thousand okay it depends on your population so since right now we are talking about having a thousand layer chicken then we're gonna go in i got disturbed by this one chicken here her comb is really very pale like look at that so super duper pale that means it, it could be malaria so one indicator is that their droppings are green and um the comb is pink uh, or pale very pale like this one look at that the, the comb is really very red but the other one is just very pale so i gotta finish this one because my algae is coming back by the way just to let you know that the prices of the feeds depend on the location for us we are located somewhere here in negros oriental it's in the Visayas so our feeds 
are a bit high that is because it needs to transport all the way from the manufacturer until this part of the country so if you could find a cheaper one that has the quality feeds as well then the better as for my list here we do consume about 110 um, kilograms per day at 1655 pesos per sack so the basic expenses that we have here are the feeds the vitamins or the medicine the electricity or the water the egg tray the labor and the rice okay. 1000 chicken is actually very easy to manage one person is actually able to take care of 5000 chicken maximum there are a few things that you really have to focus on when it comes to the basic needs of your poultry business first one would be the feeds we found a supplier that has the cheapest price in town so we pay for about 1655 per sack one sack has 50 kilograms and you would need about two sacks and 10 kilos every single day for 1000 chicken because you do have to follow the daily consumption of every chicken which is 110 grams so technically you will be spending about 3641 per day now you will have to multiply that by 30 because we go by monthly here so that means you feed consumption only itself is already 109,230 pesos, which is quite a lot already. But it doesn't stop there because again, it's just 70% of your expenses. The next thing that you will have to also consider is their supplementation or sometimes they get sick as well. So you have to give an allowance of about 1,000 to 1,500 per month depending on the type of supplements and medication that you're giving to your chicken. So this is just an approximate. One of the basic things that our chickens need is electricity and water. They need a lighting system that is able to give them at least 16 hour of lighting so that they will produce eggs for us here we managed to invest on the solar so we put up some solar panels here so that we don't have to pay for our electricity and for the water as well um, we do have our own supply so that one we don't include that in our bills anymore but if you were to ask me you can put an allowance of about 1000 to 1500 depending on your consumption the next thing will be the egg tray okay. you need to put your eggs on an egg tray um, here in the philippines we do practice borrowing the egg tray or sometimes the customer will just buy them but it costs you about four to five pesos per tray so some of our customers they actually return them so we just give them the whole set the egg and the tray and next time that we deliver again they give back the tray in exchange so it will be up to you if you are if you're gonna add that to your expenses our expenses for each egg tray is about um, four pesos per tray and if you have a thousand you'll be needing about 32 trays per day you multiply that by four that would be about 120 pesos and then you multiply that by 30 days so that would mean you will need to have 3600 allowance for the egg tray itself now for the labor 
one person is actually able to take care of 5,000 heads of chicken. So for us, the reason why we have three boys here because we have a lot of plans for the farm here. So one person will actually take care of like the delivery only. And then one will be taking care of the the layer chicken and the other one who is really very new will be taking care of the um, day old pullets or the day old chicks because one person cannot take over another person's uh, job that is because of the biosecurity so you have to be very mindful with your biosecurity when it comes to taking care of your chicken because once there is a virus in your poultry then you'll know what's gonna happen next since we have plants okay so that's a different story the thing as well for us is if only we live nearby probably we don't have to pay for the labor because actually to be really honest we can do it ourselves but because well, um, we have other things to do as well. We really need to, you know, um, to have someone to take care of the chicken. That's how you manage your time. You need to hire one, at least one person to take care of the business so that you can do other stuff. Because otherwise you will probably be staying in the farm most of the time, which is no longer practical. The reason why you wanted to have this business is because you wanted to to maximize your time and you can't maximize your time if you're doing it by yourself. Um, the labor cost would depend on your area because here in the Philippines, especially in our province, well, some people they say um, we are giving so much to our boys, but actually we just want to be generous for them because you know, prices here are really, really high already and we don't want them to also suffer. So. That will be all up to you if you want to give them a little lower than what I'm giving to them. Well, part of their salary as well or incentive is that we also give one sack of rice per month. So they just have to share that uh, for the three of them. Once we identify all our expenses, then we go to our sales. So every single day, our layer chicken they do lay eggs depending on how old they are but they can actually lay egg between they can actually go up to 98 percent if you only take care of them okay because uh, our second batch actually reached some point 98 percent so that means that if you have a thousand nine hundred eighty chickens are giving you eggs every single day so it really depends on how you take care of your chicken that's also how they're gonna give you the production my competition here would only be very very conservative prices of uh, the eggs here in our area is already really already very very high to the point where a medium size egg would cost you about 220 but this is actually still cheaper because right now in the market what we're selling the medium size chicken we're selling it for 235 pesos per tray and i can see other market they're already selling it for 265 pesos per tray only for medium so i have i want you to remember that your chicken will actually lay eggs depending on their sizes so sometimes they um, give you small, medium, large, XL, jumbo. So the sizing actually depends on the weight of the eggs. The heavier the eggs, the more expensive it is. So our chicken here, one batch is already a year old and the rest is almost one year already as well. They are producing more of large eggs compared to when they were still younger, when they were still below one year they were laying about small until medium few trays for large but this time they're already i think 
70% are already laying large until jumbo. So it is really a very good opportunity for us to earn money because the bigger the eggs that they give, the higher the price that we can actually sell them. Based on our experience, we uh, were able to get a peak production of 98%. But the average, I would say 95%. This was during their first year. I want to be conservative here because production of the chicken will actually not stay the same all throughout their cycle because as they become older, their production of eggs will also go lower. So once they are older already, probably they're going to give you maybe 80%. So let's just say throughout the cycle, throughout the chicken cycle, they can only give you 80% of uh, the production and that it gives you about 800 eggs per day. Let me give you a computation now. This is based on a very conservative calculation and I just want you to just fill the gap so that you won't blame me if your income is lesser, okay? So we go conservative. We always go conservative. So we go medium this time. So if we have to count the medium at 80% production, that means if you have a thousand uh, layer chicken, then they will be laying 800 eggs. And if you divide that by 30 because one tray has 30 eggs, then that would mean you will be getting approximately 26 trays per day, okay? You multiply that by how much is the market price. So it will, be, it will all depend on the market price or sometimes how you're going to market your eggs. So the higher the price, of course, the higher the income, right? The, the higher the sales. So let's just say the average uh, price for medium egg, a medium tray of egg is uh, 220 pesos. And if you have to multiply that by 30, because we go monthly this time, right? So the total price or the total sales that you will have would be about 171,600 pesos. The amount of your monthly expenses is 123,830. So you just have to deduct the expenses from your total sales per month. That would mean that you will be getting about 47,770 pesos per month. But this is conservative guys, okay? I want you to also remember guys that there is a peak production of your chicken. Depending on how you raise them and depending on your feeds, some quality feeds are really good and they can really make uh, your chicken lay eggs every single day. So they can go up to, again, 95% of your production. You can go up to 31 trays per day. And let's say it's just medium size egg and so if you multiply that by 220 pesos and then times 30 days that will cost you about 204,600 pesos this is during peak production so that time you'll be getting about 80,770 pesos per month if you have a peak production so you will see the difference if you have only the conservative production and the peak production now the good thing about it is that you can actually let your chicken lay eggs up to two years well it really depends on you i think as long as you're able to get an income here then you can still let your chicken uh, lay eggs for you up to two years. So again, it really depends on you. But for us, our plan is to let them lay eggs up to two years. And then we will start selling them as cull. And then after that, we will replace them with another 
a batch of chicken. But this time we will actually be raising from the old chicks until they reach their laying period. So we will save a lot of money. So we don't have to spend 470 pesos per chicken just for us to be able to go back to another cycle. That will be it for now guys. I hope you got something from this video. I'm sorry if I still talk a little low this time. I don't have much energy because of my allergy. But anyway, I hope to see you again next time. Bye!